Hello everyone, welcome back to E46 channel. Today is gonna be a different video because it's a different uh, car model. But let's start with a few quick announcements. First, as you can see, we got the hats done. It's stitching, it's a very good quality. I love it. And that's not supp supposed to be that color, but anyways, they messed up the color there. And there is the shirt. Love it. And the second is I saw the BMW. I'm looking to buy another one, but for now I'm going to be making videos on my wife's car. I bought her a uh, 2006 Honda Accord uh, SE model. Uh, it's more of an uh, EX uh, model, but it has all the features of uh, power windows, sunroof and everything. Anyways, of course, it's a used car and it has a few things to be done on it. I have already done uh, shocks, uh, sway bar bushings, sway bar links uh, in the rear, bushings on the front and rear as well. Anyways, today is going to be about uh, replacing the uh, serpentine belt or the drive belt. And we do have this new belt here uh, made from Bando, part number. 7P uh, K1 780. Uh, it's a really good uh, quality. It's meant for the Honda Accord. Uh, there are a few indicators that tell you that uh, when it's time to change the serpentine belt. One is the squeaking noise when you first start the car in a cold start because once the uh, belt warms up, uh, the noise is going to go away. But is that very the beginning moment when that noise is very annoying and that is one of the indicators the second is the cracks on the belt itself let me show you what I mean by that I don't know if you are able to tell but once I uh, take the belt out uh, I'm gonna show you the cracks uh, from closer you can see there is a lot of small cracks over there and that is another indicator that tells you it's time to change the belt and the third one there there are more but the third one is i don't know if i'm going to be able to point at that there is a small mark right there i'll probably find the picture uh and attach it to it to show you guys more in details it's an arrow and a rectangle on the tensioner that if the belt is loose uh, that arrow is gonna go uh, on the right side it's gonna move from center and if the belt is too tight, it's gonna move. Uh, we'll see that change uh, in a bit there when I put the new one. Uh, should be centered, but if the belt is a bit uh, too tight, it's the arrow is gonna go on the left side on the of the tensioner. So let me see if I can. Okay, so right there is the arrow where that mark is. That's where the arrow is, and right there where my finger is. Uh, is a rectangle. I don't know if the camera is able to catch that. Anyways, so that's what I'm talking about. I'll probably put a picture on the video to show you guys uh, what I mean by that. And as you can see, mine is moved to the right, which means uh, we have a belt uh, that need to be uh, replaced. We have cracks, and I do get those uh, that squeaking noise at the beginning. But right now. I wanted to show you guys just that I had to drive for like half an hour to get to my garage. Uh, the belt is warm and it doesn't squeak anymore. But anyways, I know that the belt is uh, supposed to be changed, so I'm going to do that. It's very easy to do this job. The only thing you're going to need is either uh, a wrench that is long or you need this tool. I got this at Canadian Tire. Before we get into the details there, it's better I show you in the diagram here. So the wise thing to do uh, when you're replacing the belt is that you take a, either a picture of the diagram of the way the belt is uh, mounted in there or you, you uh, make one yourself. And as you can see, that is the diagram pretty much uh, what we have over there. So there is the crank pulley at the bottom, the biggest... Uh, uh pulley there there is there is the air conditioner here that is the water pump there is the alternator which i can show you right there 
the alternator, the uh, steering, the power steering uh, pulley, and that is the pulley right there, which you can see on the uh, diagram right there. This uh, right here, and that is the ball that we're gonna have, which is 14 millimeter, and we have to uh, rotate it uh, clockwise to uh, loosen the tension on the belt. And uh, for that, I'm gonna be using this tool, which I got from uh, Canadian uh, Tire for, I believe, between $15, $20. It is very helpful and it's meant for just replacing the belts in like different car models. It comes with another extension. I can put the link on the description if you guys are interested. Or uh, a long wrench that is uh, able to reach where that is and you have enough uh, leverage to apply some force to pull it towards the car to get the belt loosened. Okay, and let's get into it and I'll show you guys how easy this job is. With the long extension, we'll get in there, uh, make sure that uh, you put that in somewhere, the lever on that side because you're going to pull towards the car to loosen the tension, just like so. And you can either go from the top here, but because this one is too loose, it's easy to go from the top. But uh, when you put a new one or uh, anything else, it's easier when you work on the pulley because the grooves are from the uh, from the outside. Okay, and just let the tension go. And this is the easiest part now. You just take the belt out of its uh, grooves for every pulley, from every pulley, that should be easy. right there now when I was telling you guys about cracks right there those are the cracks I was talking about that is one indicator okay something wise to do while doing this job too is comparing the old part with the new one if they match and I would expect the uh, new one to be a bit shorter or tighter but not as much as this one is so i'm gonna try and get them but it is i don't know if you guys are able to tell there but okay so here they are and look at it it's very stretched right there you can tell i have them straight here but right here you can tell how stretched it is and we saw that the arrow was moved to the uh, right side of the rectangle there and something else try to put the letters on the outside uh, of the car like this way and again don't forget that uh, diagram to draw it or download it from somewhere or look at it while uh, before you do this because uh, it is gonna be painful it is wise to start from the bottom and then work your way up because that way here it's easy for you to work now that the belt is loose it's easy for you to work on the bottom where in this uh, tight areas like uh, like here because we didn't remove anything here we just worked on the area that was given to us and that's why it's better you work at the bottom first and then uh, the work your way up with the pulleys and leave either the power steering pulley or the uh, tensioner pulley for last and uh, something else while you are at this job and you have the belt removed uh, try if you have to see and test if there is any play on the pulleys of e like each pulley there there should be some play a little bit which I, I can feel it I don't know if you guys are able to, to tell I can feel it on the tensioner pulley but that is very normal for them it wiggles a little bit And let's see the alternator. The alternator shouldn't move at all. For the rest, it's a little bit hard to reach, but I'll try to put my fingers somewhere there. And that is good. Anyways, we'll go ahead and put the new belt now. Number one thing you need when doing this job is patient, guys, because you want to take your time and make sure everything is where it's supposed to be otherwise 
you're gonna cause damage. As easy as this job might look, and as little time as it can take, be very careful because it might snap your fingers, cut your fingers off. There. So, that is in place. As I said, you can either go by the, uh, for the last uh, pulley to go with the tensioner, or either the, the top one, which in our case is the power steering. And let's just give it another check to see everything is in place. Everything looks good. And, okay, so, I'll try to show you guys where our arrow is right now, over there. It moved a lot, like, it was at the very corner of the right side of the rectangle. Right now, it is at the uh, left corner of the rectangle, of the arrow there. There, now you can see. That's what I meant. It moved, I would say, uh, three or four millimeters to the left side. Maybe more than like five, six millimeters. But yeah, so we'll, try, we'll turn it on and see where we are. Okay, looks good. There's no squeaking, nothing. And everything is perfect. And that is gonna be the video for today, guys. Thanks a lot for watching. If you have any uh, questions about this job or any other kind of question, leave it down on the comment section and I'll get back to you with uh, the best of my knowledge. And uh, if you enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up and uh, might as well consider subscribing for more videos to come. Thanks again and I'll catch you on the next one.